something every day to help change your life pattern, to grow your life, or maybe just to grow your business. Your business. Excuse me, I got hiccups. You know, we do different things every single day. We all know we do. The thing is, I like to look at what I'm doing today, what I'm doing now that is actually helping me and growing my multiple income streams that I have to go to their each one's next level. Because we know if we're going to be successful, we have to have multiple income streams. Real estate, maybe it's weight loss, maybe it's in minerals like oil or gas or something like that. And maybe it's in online marketing you're having an online business and you're giving out data and you're giving out content and you're giving out trainings and whatever it is whatever it is i work daily just like you do to grow my business streams each one individually each one will get a little bit of my attention now on certain days during my week i have scheduled out where whatever one i'm developing at that moment will get more of my attention and a lot of things i have as you all know run on an autoresponder so it takes going back in, adding content, adding videos, you know, and making sure everything is running smoothly. That's all part of a daily operation. So I like to look at different strategies and different systems that are out there that are always going to be coming available. This keeps me in the loop, as I know you do too, on how I can better grow my business by growing my individual income streams that I have in my business. Granted, my real estate will pretty much run itself with the systems I have in place and the people I have in place for that. So in doing that, I have to just very little follow up on that because if something really huge happens, then definitely they will contact me. That's a given. So all of that in play, I have to really focus on my home business where I do my content where I create videos, where I put out courses, that type of thing. And I'm always like you, in the lookout for new things that are coming out, new things that have come out by people that have already tried and tested them and know that they work. So as I'm doing this and I'm going through and I'm going, you know what? I believe that things are coming to me as they should. I believe I have confidence in myself and I believe and have faith that everything I'm doing is working out to my best interest. So I'm always believing that. And then I look at what I'm attracting back to me. And even though I manifest great things in my life, and even though you, this is going somewhere, I know you can hear that. Even though I know which direction I'm going. And even though I practice law of attraction in my life on a daily basis because it's part of my life. I also have to look and watch where my intentions are going sometimes because we all get on a trail sometimes and we all can get off our beaten path and it happens and that's okay because you know when that happens it just tells us okay I need to back myself up on the rails and see where I went wrong and what I did that is off kilter for that and what I found out, and this is, may surprise you, and it may you may get a blue light go off and go, wow, I got that. I found out that my ego in each one of those situations would always get in the way. Yep, I noticed that it would start looking for ways to take action. It would start looking for things to do. It would start looking for a way to make a timeline for me. And it would start looking for different things that it wanted me to do. So when I noticed these traits, I'll call them traits that were happening in my life, I know you can probably see them too because we're actually on the same path here. Home business, multiple streams of income, growing and prospering in each avenue and each area of our lives. So as you go forward and you're doing more and more of this, look at when you get off of that path, and all of a sudden, you notice more often the ego is looking for ways to get it. It's looking for a timeline. What kind of a timeline should you be on to get this that you want? What kind of a timeline can we set up for this? That's what the ego does. And that is part of the subconscious program. The ego gets a lot of direction from the subconscious program. So when I notice this happening, and I say this because just this last weekend I did a speaking and I was speaking to X number of group of people. 
And in that group, I noticed that a lot of people were saying, well, what if I set a time for this? And what if I set a time for that? And then that little voice in my head, in my ego was saying, oh, we could set a timeline for that just real easy and blah, blah, blah. It started mapping it out in my head. And I'm like, Okay, let's back up and let's don't let the ego take over as we are working on this mindset issue that we're talking about. So a lot of people were going, oh, oh, and the light went off going, oh, okay. My ego got involved looking for ways to do this, giving me suggestions. That is the conscious mind and the ego working getting information, getting inspired by the subconscious mind. And the subconscious mind, it can be your friend and it can not be your friend. It's always there to help you and love you and take care of you. Granted. But when I looked at these going off in my life and I started seeing different ways that my ego was starting to do this. And no, this is not a video about your ego. I did one. I did that one here a couple weeks ago in depth about the ego and it how it really really does take over if you let it now this is more about your manifestations and your superpower we all have a superpower the question is are you doing your superpower that you love to do that you're successful at most of us don't even realize what our superpower is but our superpower is usually that trait or that thing we'll say thing that you love to do that makes you happy that you get contentment from like I love to teach people I love to see people grow and I love to see people get success and my superpower is actually helping more people the more people I train the more people I help that's my superpower I love to do that it makes me happy if I could see someone make a million dollars not only am I ecstatic I am so happy for them let's have a party that type of happy so when you are looking to control your superpower and to control what you're doing, take control of yourself. And I learned how to do this by changing my intentions. Yeah. Intentions play a huge role in everything we do. Because when you have an intention, you set it and you intend for this to happen, you intend to do this. So I decided that I was going to take my intention another step. To keep my ego at bay, to keep it quiet, to keep it out of my out of my frame, out of my picture, I was going to go with expectation. When I learned about expecting and how to implement it and how to work it and how to make it a good part of my daily routine and my daily life, things really changed for the better. I had so much more growth in my businesses. I had so much more growth in my mindset and I had so much more growth in my income when I was learning how to use expectation to benefit me in the way I chose. So, but when you look at an expectation, when you expect something, you have a desire of what you're wanting to create. You have a desire that desire when it's put into the words of it, I expect this to happen for me, not to me, not with me, for me. I really don't want anything to happen to me. I want everything to happen for me. And when I put it this way, I expect by divine right, by divine law, I expect XYZ to come for me. Rather, whether it be $100,000, whether it be a whole new client list, maybe I need 10,000 more clients, whatever it is. And when I do that, I'm putting the ego at rest. Because when you set an intention like that and you have an expectation attached to that intention and you've got it laced with your superpower, which is doing what you love, boom, your ego has nothing to do. Your ego has no hold on anything. When I did that, my ego had no hold on me or my thoughts or my feelings. And I found that I was expecting and believing that it is mine by divine right. When I do this and I use my imagination to see the life I have with the end result. 
And I do this, and I do a little meditation. A lot of times when I'm setting up an expectation of what I expect to have by divine right, I will do a little meditation to set myself in the vibration of that happening. And I do that, and then after I come out of the meditation, I'm already geared up, I'm in line, I'm ready to receive. Granted, sometimes it comes really fast. Sometimes it comes slower. It just depends on the universe. So, but this, I always look for different systems and strategies that are going to help me grow my business at an exponential rate that are tried and tested from people who are using these systems. And I love to do that because there's a knowledge base there that I can set each of my intentions and I can use their knowledge base to help grow my business. Why not? That's what we're here for. So, but the way the powerful subconscious works is helps you in your beliefs. So if you have a belief that is a limiting belief, if you have a belief that's holding you back, if you have a belief that's just not doing you good, then by all means, let it go. Change it up. You can be and have and do anything in this world you choose to do because you are the leader of your life. You are in control. So I believe, and I use this system every day, I believe in expecting it to happen. I expect what I want to come for me. I expect what I want to bring me the actions I need to take, and I know with the law of attraction and with everything else in the world, how it all runs on the energy, there will be opportunities that come my way that I have to take action on. There will be people that come my way that I need to, maybe I need to join their course, or maybe I need to join their webinar, or maybe I need to hear what they have to say. Whatever it is, I know that I'm given these spots for a reason. I've set my intention. I've set my expectation. Now it's up to me to use what I'm given to my benefit. And every time I do this, I build a more profitable income every time when I find I put out an intention or an expectation I expect something and I don't take action on what is delivered to me sometimes it will be in a form of something that I wasn't even thinking you know like if someone offered me a course or they offered me you know to come and participate in something and I just blew it off because I'm like well, I don't have time for that Oh, how am I going to find time for that? It hurt me in the long run because I asked for it. I lined up to receive it. And then I denied it. And when I found I denied something like that, then it was going to be a backfire on me. And I learned the secret sauce is to don't ignore an opportunity and inspiration and intuition. When you've set an achievement or you've set an intention, you know you're expecting to get this. You're expecting it. Then if you ignore what comes, what are you telling the universe? You're telling the universe, oh, no, thank you. That just doesn't fit in my timeline. The universe does not go by a timeline. The universe does not go by time like we do. We go by time in minutes and seconds and whatever. But the universe doesn't do that. The universe, it's always rolled into just vibration and energy. So I learned not to ignore the people that were sent my way, not to ignore the opportunities that came my way, and not to ignore when I was given the chance to look at something that other people are doing that are going to make me successful, that are going to make me prosperous, that are going to make me with a more lucrative financial income. And that's why I'm talking about this today is because, you know, after my speaking on this weekend, I realized, you know, we have this huge, huge roadmap coming out with rock stars that are just going to spill all their good secrets and everything out there. So when I learned that we were doing this for the masses, I thought, you know what? This will be a perfect opportunity for a lot of you guys out there who are 
right where I used to be, struggling, searching, always, I'm always searching even today, even though I don't have to be. I'm always searching for the easier system. How I can always get a gold nugget from anything I listen to, from people I talk to. There's always a gold nugget there for me just because I took the time to listen to what they're doing and follow their steps equals success. It does. Anything we do, and we're doing it that way, equals success. Because why not? When you look at it that way and you look at it wholeheartedly, You'll find success at every corner. You'll find success right there where you least expected it. It's because you took the initiative, you seen the end result, and you didn't push the system away. You didn't push the people away. You listened to what they were doing, and you followed through every single day. You don't just do it one or two days. If this is six day, seven day, eight day, ten day, twelve day, thirty day, you do it every single day, and you will come away with more than one gold nugget on different systems or strategies that you can use in your business right now to make you money and to grow your inspiration for you and your family. It is that easy to set an intention, expectation, believe, faith. You've got the superpower. Let's do this.